As the COVID-19 vaccine continues to roll out, we're learning more about the potential side effects after either dose. Some patients are experiencing flu symptoms to rashes, while some have no symptoms at all. The CDC says common side effects with either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine can include arm soreness at the injection site, but you also might have some slightly more uncomfortable side effects. A woman got her first dose of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine on January 15th, and she says a couple of days later, she noticed a red lesion had formed under the injection site. She's one of an unknown number of patients popping up all over the country reporting a rash after the Moderna vaccine that's been dubbed the COVID arm. Reactions like this, even with other vaccines, you know, so we know when you get a flu vaccine, many people will have a local reaction in their arm. Uh, tetanus vaccines, uh, shingles vaccine. Dr. George Morris says the Moderna arm reaction is happening in less than 10% of patients and should eventually go away. The CDC says those types of symptoms are normal and a sign that your body is building up protection. Health officials recommend applying a cool washcloth over the injection site if you have discomfort and drink plenty of fluids and get rest if you ever get a fever. The CDC has a central port where people can report any symptoms from the vaccine. COVID-19 vaccines for teens and kids are still being studied for safety and efficacy. Moderna is conducting a clinical trial involving teens in Minneapolis. 14-year-old Charlie Schmidt is one of those patients hoping to help the cause. He got his first shot last week. His second one is scheduled for March 2nd. It's going to be kind of cool to be able to tell like my kids if I have any like, hey, I was part of that. I made sure they got that vaccine developed and helped save the world in a way. The federal health officials have said that kids could possibly be vaccinated as early as spring or summer, but the wait could be longer. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, North Dakota lawmakers are again considering a tax hike on smokes. Details to come.